This meeting is being recorded. Okay, here we go. I'm going to call uh, this uh, meeting of the, what do we call it? Why is the agenda? Cemetery committee. Uh, agenda, the regular session of the Evergreen Cemetery Committee, the city of Bisbee, County of Cochise, and state of Arizona to be held on Thursday, August 5th uh at 5 30 we're going to call this meeting to order at 5 38 um this is being held uh, via zoom uh we let me put my name here so that i can take notes at the same time so i call this to meeting to order at 5 38 roll call so uh luci giacomino is not here uh snooty berowitz yeah <laughs> Borowick. <laughs> Borowick. I apologize. Uh, why am I doing this here? Sorry. I'm trying to take notes at the same time. Uh, Grace Wiggins. Here. Grace. Here. Present. Uh, Linda Halstead. We're going to say. And Lisa. Is that how you, Madden Holland? Is that how Madden you say Holland. that? I'm here. Okay. So that means we, oh, wait, Council Liaison Joni Giacomino. Present. And I am here, Jesus Harrell. I am the uh, City Liaison. Uh, we still have Terry Maddox on here. I thought we were going to remove him, but uh, we'll call him anyway and say he is not here. Um, we should be starting with um, any call to the public, and let me double check to see if anybody is on here. Attendees, looks like I only have our four, or we have four panelists that show here, but nobody is an attendee, so um, does not look like we have a call to the anybody here for call to the public. Um, let's move on to um, old business. Item number one says discussion on water holding tank. Um, and Ms. Lucci was the person to have that on here. Um, but I can um, speak to that. Let me make some notes here. Um, so I actually haven't had a whole lot of chance to be to work on that. Um, our public works department is extremely busy with three projects over in Old Bisbee, um, along with uh, trying to keep up with our weeds. Um, so I haven't had a chance to work on getting holding tanks. Um, I hope to have that uh, in the works for our next meeting. Um, I know that we did have some preliminary uh, numbers and correct me if I'm wrong, but Joni, didn't you have some of those numbers? Um, I had, and I thought I sent them to you, but we also, okay. we I say, when I was driving to Safford the other day, I found um, that in outside of Wilcox, right as you're going into Wilcox, there's a big yep. um, place there that sells them also. So that might be something to look at because then there's no shipping. We could probably haul them ourselves, depending on the okay. weight of it. So um, I'll have to go back and find that other information. I have it somewhere in my ear, but yes, I have it somewhere. You're making notes as you say this. Oh, okay, good. I can't remember the place in Wilcox, but it's right when you come into, was it Wilcox? Yeah, right when you come into town, there's a boatload of water tanks. Oh, I'm sure that they're all over the place. I know that uh, um, just people either come for irrigation or sometimes they're so far uh, removed from uh, water infrastructure that they have to have use them for their, so I'm sure there's plenty of them. I'm not yeah. too... I'm sure that we can get something fairly quickly. I just, I, again, I, I, we've been just extremely busy with the, the number of projects that we have going on. Um, I haven't had a chance to get to that. So um, I hope by the next time we, we actually have these in place. So these are the ones that the grant is funding, correct? Yes, I believe so. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll put those in place and uh, we can uh, use them for, we can use our, our uh, reclaimed water for irrigation, we'll have to make sure that we tell people that but, this is for irrigation only. Right. Yeah. Perfect. Well, they won't. But, no one will uh, have access if we set it up like we talked about. They won't mm -hmm. have access to it. 
only the person that goes up and runs the hoses, which I was planning okay. on doing. Um, and then so I, I wanted to, yeah, I wanted to figure out okay. some way that we could shut off, um, either take the top of the, the valve off or just put a, a cap over it so it's inaccessible. Does that make sense? Like a lot yeah, of so they can't. Yeah, we, can, we can find a way to, we can find a way to, to uh, make that so that it's, it's uh, restricted, you know, to those that have, have the, a lock or something like that. You know, most right. likely will be us or maybe if we have DLC crews, we can go and lock it or maybe right. even if there's some special uh, project, we can go there and, um, right. and make that available. Um, right. We do that. We do that with a number of different things. Uh, and that way you're able to tell them. Uh, most notably are, are where we, we dump our, or they waste concrete and those types of things. We don't allow contractors to go back there only in special occasions. So we lock that. So we can make sure that we have that restricted. Okay. And then if, you know, then when we, you know, have those times where it's like, you know, you want to come water, bring a bucket to haul your water, you know, to water your grave site, then you can sure. tell them about time. This is non potable water, which we should write on all the, on the, all the tanks anyway, non potable. Oh yeah, for sure. Absolutely. We will do that. Absolutely. And that covers everything. But anyway. Okay. Uh, anybody have any questions on that? Seeing none, um, let's uh, move on to new business. Item number one it says um, discussion and update on obtaining the DOC inmates to keep up with weed control at Evergreen Cemetery. Um, so uh, I hope that you all have uh, seen at the beginning of this week. We were contact. Actually, it was a few weeks ago that we, start, we were contacted by the Department of Corrections, and they let us know that they would soon be able to uh, get us inmates. Um, in I think uh, last week, they had two training courses. All of our training, all of our certifications to work with the inmates were all expired. So we had uh, members of the police department, the fire department, and public works um, upgrade their certifications to work with DOC crews. And beginning Monday, uh, we had DOC inmates over at the cemetery. Um, I was contacted, uh, I believe, last Thursday and asked me if we were ready for them. And I said, absolutely. We have work for them. It's we So we put them to work uh, Monday, and they've been working on uh, – taking care of the vegetation at the cemetery. Um, so I hope that you all have noticed that uh, we will um, have them working hard on that until they're, until that's done. Um, not quite sure where they're at because I was um, not out of the office today, but I will check up with that. And But they do have access to DOC crews now. Um, if you recall in our budget, I do have them budgeted for uh, by an, I believe it was a biannual, biannually come and take care of the vegetation at the cemetery. Uh, see now we have definitely had a resurgence in our monsoon. I probably anticipate them having to go by the time they finish, having to go back through one more time and and take those the vegetation down. But uh, definitely we've got vegetation all over Bisbee. Um, so not we will have them taking care of vegetation for a while um, including evergreen cemetery um any questions on the doc crews no okay uh let me make a note here thank you yeah absolutely uh Okay, let's move on to item two then. Um, discussion on obtaining a light for flagpole at the cemetery. Um, again, this was uh, a item that was uh, put forth by uh, Ms. Lucci and she's not here. Does anybody have any idea what this was or what we need? Which one is it again? So item I two, do. discussion on obtaining a light oh. for the flagpole at the cemetery. I and do. We can just complete one. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. I can, yeah. All yeah. right. Lucci has indicated to me various times that the lighting at the flagpole is not significant enough to 
display the flag. And so she had been looking for a bigger solar panel light so that that could be put on there so that it would be brighter instead of as the little one that was put on. So that was what she had indicated on that. Okay, I made a note of that. Um, do we have do we have funding to fund that in our budget? Um, depends on the light. You know, the, we can we can definitely spend um, quite a few dollars on on doing lighting, but it doesn't always have to be that. Um, I will tell you that uh, with LED lights, um, you don't need a you don't have um, an elaborate lighting system for an LED to um, illuminate that. Let me look into that and see what we have. Um, so I will have something for you all um, in the next meeting and, and give you guys a, a, a some possibilities. We can take a look at those. If that's okay. Thank sure. You, Thank you, Jesus. Uh, to have possibilities for next meeting. Okay. Anybody have it? Anybody have anything else um, regarding item two? No. Nope. Okay. Any none? Let's move on to item three. Um, item three is discussion and possible approval. So approval meaning uh, approval of recommendation of gr grading roads and paving cemetery. So again, this was um, a item that was put forth by Ms. Lucci. Um, I'm assuming that there are roads that they want or that are, or we want paved or the committee wants paved. Is that, is that what this is? May yeah. I ask a, a question very quickly? So absolutely, we're discussing. Thank you. I thought for one of our previous meetings, we discussed something similar to this and did I misunderstand or am I correct in that the cemetery committee is responsible for the roads inside the fence line? Are yes. Roads that we are responsible for and certain roads that we are not responsible for. I don't remember. So the roads there, um, we usually go through on a, on a regular basis and we'll grade the roads, um, especially if we get some rain like we have. I haven't been down there to take a look and see if, if any of have been washed out. So we'll grade them, but um, there are none of the roads there that are actually asphalt. Um, if they, this is something that the cemetery committee wishes to do is, is pave roads there. Um, I, this is, that's something you all can vote for as, and as a recommendation, but I would tell you all that this recommendation I would take before city council, uh, because this is, this would be a new project. Um, I would, if it was something that we were maintaining, I definitely would, we would maintain it. But seeing as it would be a, a project, I would definitely want uh, the support of city council. This is something that you all can can um, make a recommendation to, and then I will take this recommendation before city council. Do do we have to come up with the money to for the work? Yes. The materials. The the asphalt material. I would say yes. That okay. that would come from the. That would come from the uh, cemetery budget. Um, however, the city council can can decide to use different funding if they choose. Okay. Okay. Joni, is it appropriate for me to ask you a question? Sure. I guess so. Yeah. Well, I mean, you, you tell me, you know, that it's out of bounds if it is. So, what is the likelihood of the city providing funding for roads? I don't know. That's to be honest. I really don't know. Um, Cause I don't know the, you know, I, I, am not privy. Well, I, I suppose I could find out, but I don't know the extent to which the city is committed in other, like Jesus has mentioned a, projects. Yeah, this is my guess. And Jesus, you can correct me if I'm wrong. The first question is sure. going to be, is it in the cemetery budget? That's probably right. what's going to be asked. Right. That's and so, yeah. so, so then before we start going down that pathway, I'm just thinking we need to think about what projects we already have on the books. Right. That that budget money would go to. Right. 
I don't know. What do you think? What, what does everybody think? Yeah. Yeah. So my recommendation would be this is if you all want to have this project um, as something that you would like to move forward with, it might not happen now. It might, we might be able to do portions of it now, okay. but as long as we, it, it may be something that say, we say, okay, we can do um, the two entrance roads um, and then we can do that. And then once we have this uh, approval from city council, then maybe we can look at uh, funding in, in um, subsequent uh, budgets and, and seeing how much we can do. But once we do that, when I go to, if you all um, decide to approve a recommendation, when I get to city council, I will have a number for them um, for the entire cemetery. That's I, easy enough. Quick question. Can I ask a quick one? Yes. So when you do paving like on the road and stuff, you don't always use all of that, do you? Sometimes you have leftover or do you? Mm, sometimes we have leftover, but it's not enough to do like oh, say, but, oh, we're going to uh, go. It's usually, it's usually like we can fill a few potholes on the next road oh, over. Okay. Um, Never and, mind. And more Never than mind. that. Oh, okay. But yes, we do order more. Oh, okay. I well, get where you're we, coming from. Coming at. Yeah. If we have if we have enough to maybe do some, yes, we could go over there and, and do some. I don't know. You know, I mean, we could ask. It doesn't mean, like you said, it doesn't mean it's going to get done right now. And, yes. and I mean, at least they could look at it. Maybe they'd be willing to fund some of it. That would, yeah, I, think that would be... I think that's probably the way to go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, I would tell you that a project like this would probably be, oh... I'm gonna ballpark this so can be about thirty thousand oh, dollars. Okay. Um, I, I that's just yeah. I would say about thirty thousand dollars in material. Um, again, I, I think it's a good idea if you to um even in your recommendation. I mean, for you all, if you approve a recommendation. City Council can decide we can do this, but we may do it in phases. Okay. And yeah. that's probably the way we okay. is, is as we as we maybe come across um, some available funding. And I will tell you that you know lots of times um, at the end of the years we might have a few a few dollars here and there that we can say okay we can we can grab five thousand dollars here and, and and do a little stretch of road. And I think we should. But I think we should do it. Yeah, Linda's listening. Okay. Hi, Linda. I mean, do, you, do you have any other questions or, or comments? No, but just the upkeep on what's already paved. Yeah, absolutely. That's that's that is in our budget. We will go out there and uh, we'll we'll go out there and take care of uh, maintenance. Yeah, it's, it's of what's already paved. paved. It's, it's the new paving in which I would say this definitely needs to um, go before council so that they, they know what we're doing. We're not, we're just not doing new roads all over the place. I think it's, I think that's appropriate. Okay. So do we have um, to take a vote? Yeah. So at this point, if there's no other um, comments, questions, um, we need to have a motion. Um, is there an is there an appropriate verbiage that one uses, or can I just say I? <laughs> I um, move it on number four. Just read that. Say or again. Number three. Just read what it says on number three. That your uh, motion for possible yeah. approval of recommendations. Okay. So I make a motion uh, uh, that, that we approve the recommendation of grading roads and paving at the cemetery. And I second it. That's, is that appropriate? Is that good? Yes, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, there we go. Let me make some notes here. Uh, uh, second. See. Okay. Uh, we have a motion by uh, Lisa. Lisa. We have we have a second uh, by Miss Snooty. Um, all those that approve, um, signify by saying aye. I, I and Linda I, also typed in that she, she approved. approved. Oh, she did. Okay. Yeah, she's okay. here. She's here. Is she? Let me see if I can. Can you see her? She is. Can, 
Oh, I see her there. Let me let me let me put her in here so she can we can get her. Give me one sec. Uh, more promote the panelist. She's BZB. Yes. There. Okay. Here she comes. You are. Okay, so we got. Uh, uh, if I got that right, we have four. Um, oh, I didn't do any opposed. I hear none. So it looks like this uh, the uh, approval of a recommendation to uh, of grading roads and paving in Terry has passed four to nothing. So again, I will take this uh, before council that you all made a recommendation for this project. Um, and we'll see how that goes. But I feel good about this one. Good. Good. Let's Long see here. Coming. Let me change that Linda is present while we're here. I'm here. I don't know if you can hear me. We yeah, hear we you. can hear you. Okay. Okay. I'm, I've been talking to you the whole time, but it, is, <laughs> it wasn't oh. working. I'm here. Okay, we got you. We got you. You're here. Okay. All right. Good. Okay, so let's move on to item four. Um, discussion and possible approval of recommendation to pave potholes at entrance of the first gate. Um, yeah, isn't that I where it's washing out? Is that the same thing as what we just did? No. So I, I, I will um, let you all, I mean, I, I think I understand is that you guys just want us to fix the potholes there? Yeah, at the gate. Is it in front? Sure. Yeah. Is it inside the cemetery or outside the cemetery? I don't know, but as you go in, it really junks you. Yeah, it's in the inside okay. the cemetery. Inside the cemetery. So, not a problem. I, I will let I will let you since you all since it's on the um, agenda as mm -hmm. a a possible approval or recommendation. I will let you all uh, make your motion and second and vote. Um, this is something that's not a project. It's more of a maintenance thing. Um, right. So this is this is something I wouldn't have to take. I wouldn't take to to before city council. I will let you all make a recommendation. I will tell you that um, should you all approve a recommendation, I will create a work order and we'll have that taken. Cool. Thank you. I make yes, a motion. So, yeah, we need a motion. I make a motion for possible approval of recommendation to pave potholes at entrance of first gate. I second. Okay. Who was the second? Linda. Linda. Ms. B. Okay. Okay, uh, motion by, uh, it was Grace, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, motion by Grace, I second by Linda. All those uh, approved signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, opposed, nay. Motion passes for nothing. Uh, again, I will uh, take your uh, recommendation and we'll create a work order so we can get that taken care of. Yay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. yeah no problem. Okay, here we go. Let's move on to um, item five. Discussion and update on grant received by the BECC regarding the project water. Um, Grace, this looks like uh, it's your item. All right. I just wanted to inform the committee that I did receipt on July 21st the check that we received for $5,200. So Yay. we have it now. We can move Five forward. Tank. Let's <laughs> spend that money on that stuff we listed. Shopping. Absolutely. So again, we'll I'll, we'll start moving forward with that, and we'll we'll hopefully have something for you by the next meeting. Okay. Great. Any other uh, discussion on item five? Seeing none, let's move on to item six. Um, item six says update on flag pipes installed by the Bisbee Boy Scout Troop Number One. Grace, looks like it's your agenda item. Yes, uh, Freeport had donated in 2018 some pipe in order for the Boy Scouts to use as a project to uh, install there at the cemetery for the, the, each veteran's grave that 12 inch pipe would be installed so that flags could be placed on them. 
as identification for the veterans. And so due to COVID in uh, 2020, nothing was done. They had worked on it on 2019 saying that they had the Eagle Scout that was gonna work on it. And so it got started just a little bit slow, but by 2020 COVID hit and they couldn't proceed on it. So once, once they were done, or, or actually we got further on into the, the COVID year, they were working on it and they had them installed by Memorial Day, which was their target date for 2020, but they, they did succeed on 2021. They were there for Memorial Day and um, Nudie can, can attest to the fact that the flag pole, posts were there and they looked very nice, especially on uh, July. It was in July also that they placed, some were placed, but Memorial Day, they did all, all the uh, veteran graves had the flag and they all looked really good. Okay. So um, regarding that, I would like to propose that the committee send a thank you to the Boy Scout Troop One and to the Eagle Scout that actually completed the, the uh, I guess it would be the project. Okay. Oh, nice. Yay. Good idea. Good idea. Yeah. Okay. So Do then I, I can go ahead and uh, pick out a card and try to circulate it so that everyone can sign it and we can send it on. And we can drive over to sign it. Okay. Vista, just let us know. Oh, uh, will do. Okay, thanks Grace. Thank yeah. you. Project. Very nice, thank you Grace. Are there any discussions on item six? Hearing none, let's move on to item seven. Item seven says the discussion on wreaths across America for December. I assume that's what that means. Yes, yes. Uh, we're okay. moving forward with the, uh, the wreaths across America ceremony in December. And I just want everyone to know that it will be December 18th, which is usually the third Saturday in December. And trying to get uh, sponsorships of wreaths so that we could at least meet our goal of 900. That number probably needs to be updated. More veterans have passed away since uh, the initial project number was submitted, but I, there's no reason why I can't as a location coordinator update it if need be, but it's just the getting the participation of the sponsorships and also have been uh, asked if we can provide the bleachers. Yes, we can do that. And so I can uh, submit a work order to you, Jesus, regarding having the bleachers provided. And I know that they will also want the sound system similar to what we did in 2019. Yep, that sounds like and then I would also like to report that I have asked to have a co-location coordinator and I have asked Ms. Snooty if she would be uh, the one to help me with that. And she has honored by saying yes. Yeah, it's a good program. That way she can do whatever she needs to do in order to put fires under either me or anybody else so that we can uh, have this succeed. Right. Very good. That's all. Okay. Awesome. Any other uh, any other discussions regarding item seven? Hearing none. I, I do. What? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. And I may, with this technical difficulty, have missed something, but has anyone been in touch with Luke Allfield about taking care of the trees? At the I know he cut some, but um, I don't know if he's been tied up because of the rain. 
Okay. Because the roof. Right. I, know there's been I didn't a lot know of if he was able to or not because yeah. he had that big job too, so I didn't know. Yeah, and he had he left there one time with a whole bunch of uh, trees, you know, the tops, and uh -huh. I don't know that he's been back. So. Okay. Okay. Great. Thanks. Do, Jody, do we do you ask him about that or how does that work? Um, if I saw him, I could. Yeah, or I mean, we could contact him, but I figured. Right now, this is like roofers heavy time. Okay. For the monsoon and the rain. So we might want to wait until like after Labor Day um, and see if, if it's still, if ha nothing has moved and see what's up. Does that sound okay? Yeah, sure. That's fine. Well, Linda, are you good with that? Huh? Yeah. yeah that's Linda? Good. Yes, thank you. I just didn't know if he had, you know, been over there. So. Yeah, he had. Good, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Good. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm going to put that under the member comments. So, because <laughs> there really wasn't an agenda. So, I, I just put a little comment on there yeah. the, under okay. member I'm comments. Sorry. Um, no, no, you're good. Just fine. I put it under there. Um, let's see here again. We're under, under members' comments. Um, does anybody else have any comments um, for members' comments? I do. Okay, go ahead, Grace. All right, since you had preceded the meeting by saying that uh, Lucci had resigned, I think it, it uh, as far as the comment, maybe in whether it's in for the next meeting or how we need to do whether a special meeting in order to appoint another chairman. Um, okay. I mean, I didn't want that to be part of a new agenda item, but you you did mention yep. it, so. Um, I don't know what I did, but we did um, we we did receive that. Um, I will find out. I, I think what needs to happen is that the city council will accept um, that resignation, and in our next meeting, we can have a that will be one of the items to. Um, appoint a, a new uh, chairperson. Okay. Chair. Okay. Any okay. other uh, member have any comments for members' comments? No. Okay. Fair enough. Um, staff comments. Uh, Joni, did you have any comments? Um, so you guys are still meeting on Zoom. Do you want to continue to meet on Zoom or do you want to, because City Hall is opening back up. Do you guys want to continue to meet on Zoom or do you want to meet at the City Hall location? So that everybody has sufficient time ahead of time to um, know where to go and not just get drop, dumped on you, you know, one day before. So it's what more do you convenient guys for us to, to do Zoom, do Zoom, but I don't know. I mean, if, if the committee requires us to drive over, like you say, we just need enough advance notice to to be there. If that's what the committee decides, then we'll make we'll make it work. Yeah. So that's up to you guys, really. That's not. I'm just bringing that up because. Um, so you guys need to. I don't know how would they do that, Jesus. Would that have to be on the next we agenda? We can continue it. Um, why don't I work on that? I know that for our council meeting, we did still have some staff members. Even though we had an in-person meeting, we were still able to do um, portions of, right. of people that were involved in the meeting um, to be able to conduct their portions um, electronically. So. Right. There may be an opportunity for us to have a mix in person and um, Zoom. Um, let me work on that. I okay. definitely will, will make sure that you all have ample uh, an, an apple uh, update with plenty right. of time. That's so, the thing. I mean, it, it just we need to have sufficient notice, not right. sure. day before. Yeah. So, I mean, I, it's just, it's, that would just be fair all the way around. Maybe I'm wrong, but <laughs> that's just how I look Absolutely. at it. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, as far as uh, my comments, I think we will we touch on it, but um, we did receive notice that Lucci did want to um, resign. So again, we discussed that how that'll work. Um, the city council will that'll be accepted through a city council meeting. Those are typically done uh, in the consent agenda, um, unless somebody really wants somebody wants to pull it out. Um, and then again, uh, our next meeting that'll be an agenda item. Um, what means we do have an op uh, a vacancy. So if you all have anybody or have somebody in mind that uh, would maybe has been talking or would want to uh, join um, your group, um, definitely let them know that the vacancy should be coming up. Um, probably we probably have to accept the resignation first. Yeah. So yeah. I anticipate that'll be. Um, or next council meeting since we just had a council meeting. So I should be able to, we, that should be on the next one. So um, in two weeks. And so. Sounds good. Okay, that, that's all I have for staff comments. Um, next item is just a, just a, the future. Our, our next meeting is scheduled for November 4th, 2021. That's some time away. Um, it always if, is. Three months. Yeah, if, if for some reason, if for some reason we probably you all feel that maybe that's a little far away to get a chairperson in place, um, maybe we can have a quick meeting just to get a chairperson in place. But I think that's wise. Right now, the regularly the regularly scheduled meetings for November fourth. I wouldn't mind if that's what you all want, um, but uh, what we can we can have some. Uh, well, we can think about how how we want to do that. Yeah, but, um, I would because if you're going to bring it up at the next city council meeting you know and mm -hmm. whenever they have you do your thing then you just let us know we can meet real quick okay Perfect. we'll do that we'll do that um in which case uh that leads us to um our next agenda item adjournment um yes yeah. uh let's do that the right the way that uh, the council meeting is so we have a motion to for adjourn I make a motion we adjourn. I second. Thank you. Okay. Uh, meeting will be adjourned. Um, no, no, no. It was all in favor. All in favor. Oh, all in favor. Sorry. Bye. 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 For Bye. Meeting is adjourned at 6 Bye. Thank you all for your participation. And we will see you soon. Bye. Guys. Bye. 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 Have a good Bye. evening, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Good to Good see to you. See you.